I'm on my way to see one of my estate sale regulars, Janine. She's an avid shopper, and now she needs my help to sell some of her collections so she can make way for some new ones. Kari, welcome. Hello. I called Kari to do this sale for me because it's really time to weed things through so that I make room for new expression. First of all, these are old cloisonne roosters. They're awesome. My father-in-law has been a fine collector of Asian art for years and years, and he's 88 years old. And this was from him. These are gorgeous. The cloisonne roosters are super cool. I'm really curious to see what those are worth. I'd like to have an Asian expert actually take a peek at them and help us with the pricing. Ta-da! All right, so this is the pile of goodies. This is one of the piles of goodies. Okay. Is this vintage, Janine? Hold the arm out. You can see how the arm is connected. Oh my goodness. So when you wear it, it's almost a sculpture in itself. It's cute. I have these two chairs. And There's both? royalty thrones. There's a king and a queen. So what's the story with these? I purchased them from a bead dealer okay. out of Zaire. Janine spent 20 years in the bead industry and as a result collected art from all over the world. She bought these hand-carved ebony thrones in 1997. They were made by artisans from the Kuba tribe in the Democratic Republic of Congo who are also known for their palm leaf embroidered textiles and helmet masks adorned by geometric shapes, fabric, and beads. These contemporary thrones were created to celebrate and validate the royal court and should fetch a king's ransom. Okay, you said there's more? Yes, there is. All right, let's go see it. This sale is different because it's a living estate and Janine's a shopper herself. She knows what to expect with an estate sale and she's ready to purge. Here's more. It looks like you definitely have enough for a sale. <laughs> I want to check out these chairs. Yeah, these Those chairs are, are from my father's my single apartment when he was a, a single man years ago. These are way cool. These stools are now considered mid-century modern classics. This design movement is characterized by clean simplicity with an integration of nature and found its voice in architecture, industrial design, and furniture. Form and function was the goal in order to answer the needs of the average American family. These Rush and Bentwood stools were made by acclaimed designer Arthur Umanoff in the 1950s. Kari knows these classics will bring collectors running. Did you go through a fur phase? Yeah. You've got some gorgeous ones. They're all truly from different eras. Okay, what other treasures are buried down well, here? Well, there are a grouping of Italian pendant lights that my husband and I had commissioned when we were in Italy. Okay. And they're all different. They're all different? There's a lot of work that's involved oh. in making that. Janine purchased these lights in Murano in 2001. Murano is an island off the coast of Venice, and its glass dates back to the 7th century, gathering influences from Asian and Muslim cultures. By the 14th century, Murano glassmakers were the most powerful citizens in the Venetian Republic, which had a monopoly on glassmaking for centuries. Each light is custom made, one of which is in the Millefiori design, where multiple glass rods are sliced and fused together. These lights are usually seen dangling from the ceiling by a rod or chain, and designers use them in kitchens, bars, or over dinette sets. We've got our work cut out for us, so I think I've got to bring the team back and get started. Janine definitely has some interesting items. This sale is going to be a lot of fun. We're here today to start setting up for Janine's estate sale. I thought she had more than enough for a sale, and then she told me she has an entire house full of furniture that's going to be delivered, which should be interesting. Whoa, what's this? No, 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 Plus, I have no we room We have here. piles of stuff to bring up. No, 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 the tent is way too small. By the way, there's more stuff out here. And another trailer full. And another trailer full. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Oh! Oh, oh that's no. supposed to fit in this tent? We don't have enough room to vignette it. We had to order another tent. There's a whole lot of furniture. Janine, have you been up all night? Yeah, I have been up all night. Janine is so hands-on. I think she's actually gonna be really helpful. Wait, what did you do with your dining room? Yeah, everything? where's your dining room table? I closed it down and I put it in, in an area of the home that we're not gonna use. Probably could run a store out of my dining room right now with all the vintage clothes. It's like a mini mall. She created a boutique in her dining room. You have a rounder, a round boutique rack in your dining room. Yeah, well, I picked one up at a sale. <laughs> <laughs> you bought this at an estate sale? At a sale. sale. Janine has a huge vintage clothing and accessories collection with everything from hats to beads and jewelry to furs and French antique purses. With reproductions of older styles flooding the fashion market, collectors and hipsters alike are on the hunt to find the real deal at a great price. This is a fun sale because there's eclectic collections here, everything has a fun story, and it's all about expression. My estimate for this sale is twelve to 16000 
when we showed up this morning to open, it was crazy because the snow was actually sticking this time. Because of the heat inside the tent, it started to melt, so the whole floor was wet. Some of the furniture was wet, so we had to wipe it down. Let me show you the water situation we had. Okay. We have a drippage down here. Some snow got into the tent, which is not good, but there's 10 people online, and hopefully we'll hurry up and clean it up, and that won't affect the sales. It's a winter wonderland. I right. mean, people are going to get it. We're in Michigan. It looks good in here, Hosh. You guys did a good job. It does look awesome. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Let him in. We're open. We're open. We're open. We're open. Good morning. How you doing? Welcome to my boutique. What would you like to buy? We have hats, we have gloves, we have jewelry. The boutique is the hottest area in the house. Everybody is cramming in that one little area and the rest of the house is empty. Look at how handsome you look. We're gonna do $8. You're gonna be the hottest third grader around $5. All right. Now this is for my sister and she's very showy. This is $35. For $20. 32. Nope. 30, that's all I can go. Is that the lowest? Yeah, first day. Mm, thank you, I'll take it for 30. <laughs> Kari wants to make sure she includes Janine's cloisonne roosters in the sale, so she and Janine meet up with an expert in Asian antiquities so they can properly price them. Asian pieces can really be all over the board from $10 to $10,000, so it's just better to bring in an expert. These Chinese roosters are decorated in the cloisonne technique, which solders gold or silver wires to make compartments that are then filled with colored enamel. The roosters are also made in the champlive technique, where the background of glazed enamel is brought forward. In Asian culture, the rooster is said to ward off evil spirits and symbolizes reliability, fidelity, and advancement. This unique combination of design and culture should fetch a high price. These are very handsome. They're not as old as you might think. They were probably made in the 1920s. Mm. Although the patterns are definitely based on old, old Chinese metalwork that would go back 2,000 years. One of the dead giveaways as to them not being that old is that they're stamped with the Arabic numerals 36. And if they had been made in China for the Chinese market, they would be stamped or, or engraved with, with the Chinese numbers. Are you ready to, uh, to hear the news? Certainly. Okay. I've looked at them very carefully. I would say at auction between $600 and $900. Oh, that's great. Wow. I think they're awesome. I do too. Thank you very much for coming oh. out. My pleasure. I think those roosters will be snapped up at the sale. They're really, really unique. Back at Janine's, Kari puts the Asian cloisonne statues out to roost. I know you're self. <laughs> oh, oh as I <laughs> off with his head. <laughs> Ladies, the featured item of the moment is this sheer beaver coat. Natalie's rocking it in her vintage boutique. Hot mama. I'll do this one for 13. It's sold. It was so fun. I think it was the most crowded part of the whole house. That looks awesome on you. I did create a couple human vignettes. It was great. This one's 30. Little clutch. All right. Sold. Sold. Good job. I collect old purses. And this will be my fourth one. So apparently the customers were sleeping in today because it is crazy in here now. You remember the lady with the ice bucket? Yeah. How much was this? Uh, 12. Uh, how about five? How about ten? Seven. Seven works. Well, she went inside with it, and she's trying to get five out of Natalie. I would put a $25 price tag on that. I'll pretend I didn't talk to you. OK. She turned around, came right back to the garage, gave you That's seven bucks, and went on her merry way. <laughs> I got hustled hard. I couldn't believe that woman bounced back and forth from me and Natalie. I'll admit when I got hustled, but I didn't get hustled. I got hustled. Aren't these cute? I'd want to paint each of these a different color. Do you have a space for them? No. <laughs> Can you make a spot for them? So these are Murano glass light fixtures. Yeah. Are they all one of a kind? Yes, Basically. they are. 75 watt. Oh, let me think about it. See okay. what else you have. Okay, okay, perfect. A lot of interest in the Murano glass pendants, but didn't sell one today. You think you and Deborah need some thrones? But these are pretty neat. Yeah, they're African, yeah. perhaps? They're African. They're from the Kuba tribe. And wow. you're asking for these cards? 5000 are best offer. <laughs> if I paid $5,000 for a set of chairs, I definitely wouldn't sit on them. The African thrones are going to take a very, very unique buyer. I get that. I just hope that buyer comes to this sale. Are you checking out the thrones? They're very cool. We have a bed and breakfast uh, that's got all antique furniture. We can take offers because there is some wiggle room. What do you think? Do you like them? Yeah, they're comfortable. You want to bring your dad to see them? Yeah. She was really interested in the African thrones. She owns a bed and breakfast. She seemed like she really wanted to buy them, but she has to bring her husband back. 
Sydney, it's five o'clock. Let's close up and lock the doors. All right, I'm on it. Natalie was so great in the vintage boutique today. She's really learning a lot. Not one customer asked about those roosters. I probably need to change their location. I think I'm gonna have to discount those Murano pendant lights. We did $5,423 today. Not bad. Kari's going to have to hustle if she wants to make her goal of $12,000 to $16,000. Tomorrow, she'll push the mid-century modern stools and cross her fingers that the woman who was interested in the African thrones comes back to buy. Before day two of the sale begins, Kari wants to help relieve John and Mike LaCroix, father and son, from the overflow in their barn. So we can work on this. Mike told me he would pay me to take John's treasures away. So this is going to be an interesting dynamic. Not really sure what I'm going to find. Who is the coin-operated junkie? Is that that you? was me. Yeah, I, I started I collecting these 30 years ago. Now they're collecting dust. Oh, I know. They, they need a home. <laughs> what would you give this one away for? Well, you like that? I'd take 100 bucks for it. I yeah. want to put marbles in mine. Oh, yeah. The original one there. OK. So what are you thinking on this one, if I took both? I'm thinking 150. I like it. I like it. All right, since it's so cold out right now, stand out here all day. What about this seed sign, guys? Five bucks. Oh, I was going to say two, but five is good. <laughs> More stuff this way? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, there's that whale back there. I don't think I've ever seen a whale weather vane. Really? Whale How much is the whale? 75 bucks. Oh, that's a good deal. I know it is. What's a scoop with this chair? Oh, aren't that neat? The feet are interesting. Yeah, it's probably 1870s, 80s. How much are you going to let this go for? Um, 50 bucks. How it's, about 40? Oh, killing me here. All right, 45. 45 sold. Right. This guy. How about 35? Um, OK. Sold. <laughs> sold. Put sold. in the sold pile. All right. I'm still trying to get to those fixtures. Oh, let's see. How Did much? You, the rust is extra. They do make good hats. Mm -hmm. you know, make good <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I don't know. What, five bucks a piece? Yes, sold. Such a deal. <laughs> John and Mike were hysterical. All right. I think we're at $462. OK. What about if we threw in these bad boys into the pile? $500 for everything. <sighs> Five and a quarter. Sold. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Right. It was fun. Kari ended up with some industrial lights and stools, a weather vane, and a 100-year-old piano seat that she'll turn into a refurb treasure all for $525. It's the second day of the sale, and Janine is allowing the team to wheel and deal. Kari is going to feature the Asian cloisonne roosters to give them the attention they deserve. She'll also feature Janine's other unique items, the African thrones, the Murano glass pendant lights, and the mid-century modern stools, all big ticket items that will boost the bottom line. These need to be featured. They need to be yes. showcased. They're this awesome. This is a great spot for them. Perfect. Are we moving these? Oh, you, you watch the pendants. Oh, I've got this. <laughs> you break it, you buy it, right? Am I going to clear that? Oh. Oh. My. Gosh. They better sell from over here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Natalie did such a great job in the boutique on day one, she's back in there on day two to push Janine's fabulous vintage items. I'm ready. All right, everybody, come on in. It's too cold. Right. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. We're doing 25% off. I'm always amazed. Sometimes all you have to do is move pieces to a more featured spot, and they start getting attention. So are you buying these? Okay, I'm, I'm seriously <laughs> considering it. Are you? I actually have two pieces by the same designer. Are you still shopping around? I'm still shopping, but I'm definitely interested in this. OK. Yep. Well, we were doing 25% off the top today which would make that 225? Will you go down to like 175? How about 185 and it's a deal? Hmm. 180? Going one? 180. Sold. Yay! Which one? Now the question is which one? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. It's a good color scheme. I mean, I'm so excited. You have good taste. You pick the most expensive one. Are you selling more lamps? Yes. <laughs> First we have to decide on a price. Well, we're doing 25% today, so that would be 300. So how about 250? Two? 225, that's my final offer. You need to take this home. What do you okay. think? Okay, I'm not gonna have over $25. It is yours. Let's wrap it up. Mm -hmm. 
It's such a learning experience for me to move things around and boom, they sell. Christy's been great, not only with research and with her sales techniques. Today, working on those mid-century modern stools, she added the tables. So Carrie, I've been thinking about yeah. those. I'll okay. Seriously, I really like these tables. And you like these tables? Very much. Okay. And I, I do love the stools, so what kind of deal can you make me? Okay, the stools are priced at 500. These are at 125. Mm -hmm. How about I throw in the tables and you get everything for 500? How about 450? 475 and it's yours. Okay. Sold. That's a deal. Good. Yay. That's a Thank good you. deal. Christy had a good eye. As soon as I said mid century, she was all over those tables. She knew what she was doing when she put them in front of me. Should we move these where the stools were? Oh, these are great here. Kari steps away from the sale to do some work on this elegant chair she found in the LaCroix barn. It needs some love, but I'm going to give this little lady a makeover. Not wanting to lose the beautiful look of the wood finish, Kari instead brings out its luster with a cleanup and some furniture oil. A simple upholstery job will bring life to the seat. I'm going to use everything that's originally on the chair, and I'm repurposing a bark cloth curtain. I think this floral and this color will really make it pop. When I picked up this lovely little lady's chair out of the barn, it was dusty and dirty and hadn't been touched in years. Kari knows that sometimes a simple cleanup job can triple the value of a tired piece. Oh, I love this chair. Isn't it cute? I just saw it. It's perfect. It's going to be great in my office. Back at day two of the sale. Where did that come from? Just found it. Let me see the condition of it. Yeah, this is all hand done. My wheels are turning. I'm like, do, 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 try it on. You will? You will? No way! No way! I'm getting married next year, so I'm on the hunt for wedding things. So I thought, why not? I'll try on the wedding dress. We got to find out the story. Ah, I had a wedding dress! The dress has potential. I'm actually pondering it. Would you like to kiss the bride? Hi, Janine. It's Natalie and Kari. How are you? Good. Doing well. How's it going? I want to know the story behind that vintage wedding dress we found this morning. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yes. It is my aunt's wedding dress. She was married in March of 1943. I think I'm selling it to Kari. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, how wonderful. I'm pondering it hard. I'm thinking I can rework it and make it more Kari-esque. How would it make you feel if I just gave it to you as a wedding present? Oh, oh. Janine, <gasps> you don't have to do that. I would love to do that. It would not find a better home. You're going to make me cry. I got a little emotional when she said she wanted to give it to me. I think that's like a sign that it was totally meant to be mine. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. She has tears in her eyes. All right, all right, I'll do it. You're so oh. sweet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got a wedding dress. I've got my work cut out for me. I'm really going to push those big items so Janine can have a great sale. I was so touched that she gave me that wedding dress. This is Latifah. So you're interested in the roosters? Yes, I am, for my grandchildren. The appraiser told us at auction that they would go from anywhere from $600 to $900. How about if I give you $400? How about $550? How about $450? How about five and you've got a deal? OK. Sold. You got it. Awesome. You. Let's bring you up. So you brought them back. I brought them back. What do you think? We're very intrigued by it. Well, what are you thinking? We're asking 5000 for the pair. Yeah, take a zero off. <laughs> she has a bottom line that she's willing to let these go for. So okay. we've got wiggle room, but I can't go down to $500. I think she really, really wants the thrones, but she's got to open her purse strings. So the bottom line of the thrones is 3500 OK. Can you go three grand? Let me find out. Let me call her. I'll be right back. OK, thank you. Hi, Janine, it's Kari. I have some serious buyers for the African Thrones. OK. They are offering me 3000 What do you think about me coming back to them at, like, 3300 OK, whatever you need to do, don't worry too much about the money. OK, fair enough. OK, okay. so how about 3300 We kind of hit our ceiling at three. Do you want me to ask her if she'd take the three? I mean, that's really kind of, we can't. Let me try. All right. All right. Okay, guys, here's the deal. I can't get a hold of her now, oh, okay. but I'm going to make the executive decision. I'm going to sell them to you for 3000 You really want them, they're yours. Ah! Awesome. <laughs> 
I know you really want them. Uh oh, Thank she's you. calling me now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just made the executive decision and, and sold them for 3000 I hope you're not mad at me. No, you said perfect. Good, you're happy. I didn't want them to walk. They really wanted them, so I made the deal happen. And I hope the old people that own these chairs know that we're gonna take really, really good care of them. This was such a wild sale. I think the best part of the sale was all of the clothing and all of the dress up. People were bonkers for the boutique. And all the other key items sold. I hope Janine's going to be happy. How are you? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. I know you had a hard time staying away. A little bit. I can't tell you how happy I'm about the sale and about the new friends I've made. Well, I've got to tell you the total. Drum roll, please. Yes. <laughs> we did $13,132. Oh, that's terrific. Are you happy? I'm so happy.